COVID curfews mostly don't make sense. The OutKick mailbag dives into the latest as it pertains to the world of sports. That's next. (laughs) William asks, Why are there curfews in places like Ohio suspended for sporting events? Are they really needed if people can do whatever they want for Monday night football but because it's Friday night at 10 p.m. COVID will come get you. This is pretty crazy because if you didn't know already when the Cleveland Browns played that classic game against the Baltimore Ravens everyone who was going to the game was allowed to violate the curfew because the game ended well after the 10 p.m. curfew. But if you were in a bar or restaurant you had to leave you couldn't watch the rest of the game. This is why I am in agreement with many of you out there who have pointed out that the data doesn't support curfews driving down in any way the overall COVID infection rate. In fact, if you look at the studies that have been done of late there's nothing to support the idea that shutting down restaurants for instance lowers the overall COVID rate. We do know however that it raises substantially the overall unemployment rate. And so there are a lot of people out there saying that many of these rules have no basis in logical fact which is why some judges are starting to strike down the draconian rules and regulations of many governors and mayors including the city of San Diego which recently re-allowed restaurants to open because a judge says there was no evidence whatsoever that shutting down restaurants made it safer for anyone. I think the fact that they're willing to bend rules about situations such as these is evidence that they don't make a lot of sense and also in the larger context I didn't even want to mention this hypocrisy because my concern was they would shut down fans being able to go to the Browns game against the Ravens so I can talk about it after the event but I didn't want to talk about it before the event. It's a very good question. 